Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi and Assalamualaikum to my lecturer Dr. Nadia Wahi. Today I will present my research proposal with the title of Application of Cuban Theory to Patient Flow in Hospital Operation. My name is Farhanani Binti Haize with metric number 196474, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics with Honor, Department of Mathematics, Faculty of Science, University Putra Malaysia. So we will go to the first slide which is overview. Here I have stated my section in this slide which is the first one is introduction, then research question, next is objective, methodology, expected result and also reference. So first we will go to the introduction. Here as we know patient healthcare demand is growing with continuing growth of society. So, emergency department overcrowding is a major issue and impact the ability to deliver medical emergency service within a reasonable amount of time. So, here I have stated an example of type of problem to be analyzed is that of estimating first, the level of service provided to the patient, next, the average waiting time, then the number of patient queue, the capacity used and also the probability that the patient needs to wait. Next, we have therefore indicate the use of queuing models that can provide reasonably, reasonably reliable performance assessment of the system. Thus, we will introduce the solution for evaluating the emergency service by applying the queuing, queuing theory principle and relationship. Here, why is queuing theory is important? It is important to first effectively reduce the average time for diagnosis and treatment as well as the degree of fluctuation. Next, it is also to imp improve efficiency, shorten the waiting time and also to adjust the position of consultation room appropriately. So we will go to the research question. Here, the question is how to establish a QE model system to be able to continuously track the queue with variable arrival trends in overcrowded hospitals and optimally control the flow of patients in emergency department. So, we will go to the objective. So, here are the sum of the objective. Firstly, is to recognize the major obstacle in the healthcare operation management system. Second, is to compute the expected time a patient spends waiting in the queue before being seen by a doctor. Next, is to find out why the principle of queuing is important in the management of emergency department operation. Also, to use queuing theory effect efficiently to solve the overcrowding problem in the ED, which is emergency department. Next, uh, lastly is to get queuing theory to analyze changes in outpatient waiting times before and after the introduction of queuing theory system. Okay, now we will go to the methodology. Okay, the queuing theory is used to determine the minimal number of service needed. Now we will assume a model of MMN queuing. Okay, now a portion distribution is used for arrival and exponential distribution is used for serving service duration. Okay, using this MMN model, we can assume that um, equation here which is lambda over n mu less than or equal to 1 where denote by Lambda is a arrival rate, mu is survey rate, n is the number of server, p0 is the probability of 0 units in the system, and pk is the probability of k units in the system. Okay, to optimize, optimize the process, probability for an entering patient must queue for treatment, which means that all specialists are busy, pk must be calculated. In order to calculate the probability, relations that will be used are these two relations here. If we, if k less than n, we will use the first relation. 
and if k greater or equal to n we use the second relation here okay based on the property the overall sum of probabilities must verify this equation we will calculate p0 and the probability pi with for any i we do not have patient we patient do not have q or waiting line if the number of arrival k is less than the number of servers n but if the number of arrival exceed the number of server then the process must be sorry the process must be optimized to reduce the waiting line next okay the working process in ed the seriousness of patient's health condition will be determined and they will assign they will be assigned a corresponding tri age level or code as can be seen in the table below okay in this table uh, here we got the tri age level and also the waiting time to first medical consult for example here we got level one with code rate this is the most emergency patients so the waiting time is zero minute we will immediately transfer the patient to the doctor and for example the level three which is green color uh, it is a moderate level in the medium so we will give them maximum 30 minute waiting time okay next next we denote by si the annual average number of arrival of patient in the interval t i minus 1 t i where t not equal to 0 means the 0 hour which is the beginning of the day okay now here p k to power of d i is denoted as the number of patient arrive on day d in the time interval here and then the average number of the patient arrival per day can be obtained from this equation here where m is mine and the sum after d refers to the number sorry refers to the number of day of each month okay next the average number of patient arrive in the interval will use the relation here s i equal to s i power of t over 24 Therefore, lambda as the average number of arrival will be here, lambda to the sum of Si over 24. And it is known that the system is steady, is in steady state if the relation is fulfilled this equation first. This is the initial equation that uh, I have mentioned earlier. So if lambda over n per mu, lambda over n mu less then one so we will, we will say that the system is in a steady state okay next to calculate the probability that no patient in the ed the overall sum of probability must be equal to one so we will we will add p0 plus p1 until pn which is equal to one so to calculate the length of the q in the case of mmn we will use this equation to calculate the waiting time in Q, the mean waiting time in the Q will be WQ equal to LQ over lambda. Next, to calculate the average treatment time per patient, we will use WT1 over mu. And to calculate the total waiting time in the system, we will just simply add WQ with WT. And then to calculate the overall number patient in the ED is on average. We have here L equal to W lambda. Next. Okay, now this is the expected result that we will get. First is the probability for an entry patient need to queue can be calculated using the uh, equation that I mentioned before. And also it is expected that the required number of ED service will be measured in order to estimate the average waiting time. Also, it is assumed that the patient should be able to know the approximate time to wait in the queue because we can calculate the approximate time. So next, if we take into account that the number of human resource is equal to the number of the beds, the number of 
bags available can be predicted. Also, the QA model will be helpful tool for capacity planning in the ED in hospital. Okay, so this is the reference that I use. Okay, okay, that's all from me. Thank you.